Now Barbara Windsor and Chris Froome are among the famous faces who've been recognised on the New Year's Honours list. But of course it's not just the big name stars that have been rewarded. Everyday people who've contributed to society are among the thousands also being celebrated today. Well Lucy Watts has been awarded an MBE for services to young people with disabilities. And as you can see she joins me now in the studio. Lucy, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. Many congratulations to you. Tell us how it feels to be given this MBE. Uh, amazing really. I can't kind of describe how it feels. It was such a shock but a lovely shock and to know that my work is you know fruitful and it is you know achieving something and people think I'm worthy of something that it kind of proves to me that I have to be proud of what I've achieved now. Yeah oh, it's incredible. Tell us a word about the work that you do do. Um, I work with five core charities probably the most prominent being Together for Short Lives so they are the children's palliative care charity so I've, I've spoken in Parliament for them and I've spoken at various different events, written pieces that's kind of how my work takes writing speaking we're doing videos and radio and tv work as well so it's it's quite a broad spectrum it's more on kind of young adults palliative care on 24 7 care because you know there's our conditions are not nine to five we can guarantee we'll get ill in evenings or weekends and there's not the support there to provide the care out of hours which is a big issue because if i'm ill on an evening or a weekend hospital is the only place to go tell us about your condition and how it affects your life um, it's called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and it's not normally life limiting but in my case because it's caused lots of different complications and organ failure and all sorts of things like that it will unfortunately limit my lifespan it means I'm fed through a line into my heart and all sorts of things like that in a wheelchair obviously so it's quite it's very very complex there's so many different factors to it so it's quite a hard condition to live with but it's enabled me to do so much good at the same time. And you're just telling me you've come in with your full-time nurse today, somebody who's crucial to your life to enable you to do what you do. And you've chosen to give your life now, the hours, time that you have, to helping other people, something that's clearly really important to you. It is. I want to feel like my life has counted and that all my experiences, good and bad, can be used to benefit someone else. Because I was so frightened that I would die and nothing would be different because of me and that my life wouldn't actually mean anything. So to be able to use my knowledge and experiences to benefit other people, for me, just means to me that my life has meant something and I've made a difference and that I won't just be forgotten. So through the work that you do, you help raise money to help other people with life-limiting illnesses to, to get the care that they need and to help their families as well? Um, not so much. For, I've done uh, fundraising, but it's more speaking to MPs, to um, professionals, to commissioners, to um, like Department of Health officials, all sorts of people like that, going to events, um, writing so then, pieces. To actually raise awareness with them? Yeah to okay. raise awareness of the issues we face, of our families face, of our needs and to be a voice for young people because it's, it's easy for them to make decisions for a young person without knowing what young people want. And if anybody's watching now and is in a similar situation to yourself and they want help and uh, you're obviously highlighting what's available, what should they do? What could their families do to help them? Well, just keep fighting and to make use of every available resource, whether it's charitable, you know, medical, social, grab everyone together. And the best thing I'd say they can do is get an advocate. So they've got someone on their side that knows everything about them that can actually fight for them. Because it's hard for us. We have so much or so, so little so energy. ideally a family member? A family member or a professional. There are so many services that provide that nowadays. And if they had someone to fight their corner, because, you know, our, our conditions are so hard to live with, they take so much energy. And our families obviously care for us, so that their energy is taken up, so it's hard to keep fighting. So if you have someone outside of the initial family or a professional that can advocate for you, then you haven't got to worry too much. So really exciting for you to get this MBE. What about your family? How did they feel when you got the letter through the post, what, a few, a few weeks ago? Yeah, in end of November, it was, it was amazing. I mean, I couldn't even speak to my mum. I just showed, handed her the letter and said, I, well, I didn't even say anything, I don't think. It was just, and it's so lovely being able to tell people and for them to be proud, because it's, and it's for me to be proud as well of myself because I'm not very good at that. <laughs> you should be proud, it's amazing and you've got the exciting uh, occasion at Buckingham Palace to look forward to as well. I have, yes. It's amazing. Lucy Watts, thank you very much for coming in. Many congratulations and good luck with the work that you carry on doing. Thank, thank you. you.